another video. So today we will be doing the long, long, long awaited bathroom video that you guys have been asking me for. So if you're interested in watching that type of video, keep on watching. Bus, 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 So I've kind of held off on doing this video because a bathroom is a bathroom and I really don't think there's much to show but I've gotten a lot of requests from both Instagram and on YouTube to show you guys what inside my bathroom looks like. Now, I kind of feel like a bathroom is personal but I like to give you guys what you ask for. So we're going to go inside, you understand? It's no special nothing, normal bathroom toilet and sink and shower, normal like everybody else own. We're going to go inside and we're going to see what it's like and I'll show you now. What makes mine maybe different from yours? Are you ready? Ready? Yeah? Let's go. So, normal, yeah? So what I like about my bathroom, first of all, is just that it's very lit. So I have two different lights. I have this one here that's like a special bulb. I don't remember what it's called. I've had like a very, very long time, but it's very bright. And then I also have a lit bathroom mirror that I got from Active. So if you've been following me for a while now, you would have seen when I did my moving in, like a little house mini tour, I had this mirror installed. And this is not what came with the bathroom, but you know, I went by Active and I fell in love with it. And I just feel like it was cute. So if you turn off the top lights, you can get like a nice vibe from the lit mirror. So sometimes in the night, when I come into the bathroom and I don't want the top light to blind me, I'll turn this one on. And it just kind of have a little mood, you know, like not too bright, just a little normal settings. But yeah, it's very lit. So if you want to do your makeup in here, or you want to get dressed in here, or you just want to look for your pimples in here, it's very, very lit. First thing that I love. Second thing now is my little clothes basket, nothing fancy normal wicker i got this at fontana here in jamaica it's actually a two-piece set and i chose a white color because white's kind of clean and i wanted that vibe to be in the bathroom so normal pull cover thing nothing special about it. it's very light and like i said it was in a set of two so i have the smaller size version to this in the second bathroom and that's kind of why i loved it too because if this one mash up i have a second piece it was very pricey i guess because it's a wicker but so you go live. So we're moving on to the shower now. So you know if you got have a little fancy shower, you kind of have a fancy mat for go with it. So I went with the brown color, furry, fluffy mat. You know, the mat you kind of soak up water when you don't shower. I went with the brown color to kind of match back with the tiles. I also have these mats in gray. They're really, really good. They're from Max's in Portmore. If you're in Jamaica, you want to check them out. They have like the big size ones, but I went with the small size ones because Mikia, there is not enough space here so for whole mat and whole mat here so the small size one kind of functions for the toilet and for the shower so this fixture here now that holds my towel i purchased it at active when i remember when kk did that install or something and it mash up the towel yeah when i did that same video when i had just moved in and i was installing the things kk mash up the towel but it works really really well and you can put a towel on each side or you want to put like your robe you can hang it up there this bathroom never came with much like fixtures, so when we go up active and see them with a look at two, you know the cute little things that we can buy for kind of spice up the bathroom, I had to get them. I'm going to show my phone, might as well. So I also got this basket from Target. I found a similar style on Amazon, so I link all the things that I can link below. So I got the basket just because I have like a whole heap of shower gel, as you can see, because along this soft life style that we're living, you know, this lifestyle of luxury and of just loving ourselves i don't feel like bathing with one soap is doing it i feel like you should have options and that options i mean scent eyes rose water and aloe vera we have some vanilla and oatmeal we have some dr Bronner's peppermint which is probably like my favorite favorite one and we have like three different doves here so we have the lavender also my favorite from dove cucumber thing and the relaxing coconut you understand me i say because if you're living a soft life you're african today you want a little rose water tomorrow you want a little oatmeal probably you feel like all right they want a little scrub with a little mocha soap or tomorrow you come now you say all right they're going use a little almond you don't know you just gotta have options and then you have your dry brush here and then instead of 
like keeping them in the drawer i wanted them close so you come to the shower you want to change like your soap it's right here you don't have to go too far can you know so sometimes when the things are there far you kind of change your mind can i mess it if i have to go for the soap outside and i'm in a sense right i'm just going to use the soap that is there so if you keep them close to yourself or close to the shower it kind of encourage you for one to try something else or use something else no i'm not sending us if you go buy six to eight ten shower gel that's not what i'm doing i bought these at ross so they were actually very affordable i'll also link the names of what they are below and if you guys want me to do a product review on the items that you see here in the bathroom let me know in the comment section below because trust me i try some of the things there and some of them are good you understand so if you want me to let you know what is good and what i've tried you can let me know but yeah put your little things in a little basket and have them close to you so when you're shower you can reach it I also go with white towels just because it gives me that hotel feel and the white cleaner and add for wash though you're gonna spend one pound money pound blue soap and pound bleach but for the overall look you know and the cleanliness and again the 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 hotel look where you go for again soft life you know you want to feel like you're yeah, there resort white towels I do like black and like probably nude but when I know white does have a more crisper feel yeah so let me say so I have another candle here. You probably saw the first one already, which is lit. But this one is just, you know, in the night time when you kind of want to do your candlelit showers. Because I feel like they really work well for your mental health. So if you had like a really hard day, you know, or you just want to relax, light a candle, turn off the lights and you bathe with candlelight. I have two candles here. This is one and another one by the toilet. You'll see that one soon. So the watermelon lemonade is not like a specific scent. It's just what Carrie had at the time. So big up to Curse Train. She always supplies me with all my candles and all my fragrances that I use in my house. So this is what she had at the time. And it's pink and kind of matches stuff in here. So I'm going to just go with the watermelon lemonade. Actually, I cute scent, but I'm not really, you know, it's not a must have. So moving on over here, these fixtures again were purchased at Active. So I was going to only go with one, but then I had a lot of things at the time. Also, instead of like pile up everything over here, that's another reason why i kind of got the basket so these are the ones that i use most and them kind of match you see the color pink except for the blue one which is face soap we just have to just keep that because we already don't have the soap that i like in a pink bottle so we leave that so i have another bottle of rose water and aloe vera because it's it's really my favorite it smells so so good so this one is not even done let me show you it not even half yet yeah, pass half right and I just bought another one because I don't feel like I'm supposed to run out of it and see me that tell you and I like Ross $4.99 or something say. So you just go Ross and stack it up if you can. If you don't know if a foreign, I'll link the, the thing below. As I said, you can get it on Amazon. But then this now is the rose oil nice to Ross again. You understand? Nice discount. Very big bottle and it suds well. And then I have like my little Yoni products. Remember, if you guys want me to do a product review, I'll let you know why I chose this one. So if you're interested, you can, you know, send me like a DM or you can comment below. So from Salt XO, I have the Yoni gel in here and I also have the Erotica gel. So you can see that, yeah, I believe in that for true because this is so done. And I actually have an extra bottle in storage and then i have my erotica gel so these aren't sponsored posts by the way but i can drop the link below if you guys want to purchase it you understand just let me know i'll hook a sister up and again like i said this is the biore face wash that i use really really good i'll tell you about that another time and i don't know i don't really show with rags i have them but i kind of prefer to either use a poof that's what i call it or I use my scrub gloves. I just feel like, again, on a soft life and to be very feminine, you kind of want to always ensure that you're exfoliating your body. You know, you get off the excess dirt, any little bumper, any little, you know, you use a lot of lotions, uh, body splash, body spray. When you're showering, you want to ensure that you get everything off clean. So, you know, you use the exfoliating gloves, give yourself a nice little scrub, give yourself a fresh skin when you're dead. You understand? I also have this, I don't even know what you call it, but it's like a scrub thing for your face as well. Bought it at Ross too. So it just kind of helps me when I'm using my Biore face wash to just like scrub the excess dirt from my face. Yeah. This also is another salt XO product. It's a body scrub. So again, for exfoliating purposes, I'll use this with my gloves. It just kind of gives me an extra wash. 
basically. But no one will comment and say, I want me to wash off my body stuff, but that's fine. I know what I like and I do what I like. I'm in a really business. What will I say about that? When I shower and I come in the bathroom, it's like a it's personal time. You understand? I'm kind of like for spend like a time, excess time with myself, think about me for think about. You understand? I relax. So I spend a lot of time in the shower. So this is a goat milk soap. I bought this at Ross too. It's actually really, really good. I've heard a lot of good things about goat milk. If you don't know, you can Google. It smells so good too. So I'll also use that with my scrub gloves. And then of course, you know, you have a little razor. Because anything can happen. And you just want to grab a little razor and yeah, clean up the place quick and fast. So here we have our eucalyptus bro. We don't know when a Jamaica we can get um, eucalyptus for cheap. This is a very expensive habit. This of having fresh eucalyptus in your shower is very expensive. But everyone for telling how much we pay for the eucalyptus. But if you know anywhere in Jamaica that sells the eucalyptus fresh, hook me up, please. Comment below. So I attach it to my shower and I just kind of allow the water to run on it. They say it's good to, you know, clear your sinuses and whatever. I overall just like the smell of the eucalyptus in the shower. Sometimes it dry up and we just keep it in here because it look good. But just feel like the bush and some about the bush, but just love. Me overall love bush. As you can realize from the plants that I have, the greenery in the shower just really does something for me. I guess it makes me feel like I'm the outside. And then like when you're showering and you're watching the water like trickle down and it's trickling down off it onto your body. I, body, I don't know, it just does something for me. Probably weird. What a thing. Would you try it? If you've tried eucalyptus in your shower, please comment below and let everybody know your experience. How you feel about it. You understand where you're getting eucalyptus because I need to order it from where you're ordering it from. Yeah. But let others know. How do you feel about showering with eucalyptus? I personally love it. But like I said, it's a very, very expensive habit. So we're going back again to when I just moved here. The bathroom did not come with this. I bought it again at Active. Oh, no, Mr. Active girl, Mr. Active straight, right from the start to the finish, right? So I had to get this rain shower head. I actually wanted the other one. You know the one when I got out of the piece so where you hold it so you can show it? That is the one I did want. But I don't know. I think me that moved too fast and I never saw it till afterwards. And I didn't tell me, I said, girl, why? But I love my rain shower head anyway. I'm not sure, no? That good thing for me have water because suppose me do that and it, it never come on. Then you know I know something have water come night. But you see, it just kind of give you a little vibe. So if you have a normal shower head, you get me, you can go for active change out your shower head and make your bathroom look festive and fancy. Because like I said, my bathroom did not come with a lot of the, these things. I put them in there afterwards. You get me? If you don't want to live in a rent house and don't fix stuff that is full of business, so do not argue with me in the comments. Me, I go fix it up and make it be what I want it to be until it's time for me to leave. I have to be comfortable. Rent or not. So, another thing. Active again to hold my excess towels. I'm in a system of my hotel, pure white towel. Look here, I'm regular with me go to the hotel. And I already know the rest, but I'm not telling you, right? But if you want white towels, nice plush white towels, you can still check Maxi's. I got a set of these from Amazon. I will link it below. Soft, 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 soft. You know the right are right now. It's another wash because we use it very often. But these are just, you know, while anything is in the washer, so you can use the ones that are here. And they know they're far. So as may I say, you know, when you have shower, you have bed or whatever, you're kind of tempted to not change your rag or your towel because it's far. But when you keep it close, you can always change it like after a week because I change rags and towels every week. That's also a good skincare regime. Like you not keep your towel and your rag for long because you know the dirt and the excess build up and you keep on and use it back for your skin. Remember, so we are trying to live a soft, clean life so we don't want to use the dirty, dirty things. You understand what I say? So we're moving right along now. So this also purchased from Active, this fixture here because there was nothing to put the toilet tissue in. So I bought this. I'm mean, just to think it fancy because if I better go something for cover over it, like in the fly, not that I expect no fly in the bathroom. But in case there's any fly or anything to pitch on it or to splash on it, it's covered. They have other styles, but this is the one that I thought would have been the cutest. And I know they have like, you know, they look at, they look at toilet tissue standing thing where you put like your excess toilet tissues in. Maybe one with another tuna, but we just never have no space. And I don't think you should put the toilet tissue beside where the rubbish bin is. And I couldn't put it beside which part of something if I clean the toilet is. So I'm just not bother with the toilet tissue holder thing. Yeah? So, yeah, I'm a little motivational um, picture frame. The best is yet to come. And I have my candle. So this is the one that I light 
mostly in the night when I'm going to take my candlelit shower. And of course, when you do the little number two, you have to have your concentrated room spray. So again, the fragrances I use in my house are from Curse Trends Online. So this one is Bubbly Rosé. I think this is the first time I'm using Bubbly Rosé, but it's not bad. You see, when I use concentrated room spray in the bathroom after your number two, nobody can tell. So sister, you can walk with this in your bag when you're going anywhere, or you can have one just in your bathroom. So me personally, if I do number two, I use it, or you know, sometimes you just want in here smell nice, you just tat it. And this you don't have to use much. Cause it come out very very big. You see that a while ago? As I say, it's concentrated. So all out in the living room, you gonna smell this. You know, I feel spray it two, six, eight, ten, twelve times. One time is good, right? So tile it normal, right? Normal. I'm gonna have to show another tile it, right? This garbage bin. You know, we kind of want a fancy garbage bin, but I bought this from the first, first, first apartment tour. Yeah. And I never really have no money for buy the silver one. You know, them, them fancy, you know, most know it. And you step on the foot, so it open up. Them fancy silver, like a six toes, I'm never gonna do it because I already have the white one here. I'm gonna put it in here, I'm gonna think it bad, right? One thing, you kind of go with the vibe white towels, white toilet, um, white garbage bed, in a bad. I also added like these, I call them scent bags. I link them below too. So you kind of like shake it. And it kind of wake up the smell. So this one is baby powder. So this is very strong in here. So outside of using the concentrated fragrance, I have this. So once it come in here, it's a bathroom. I want to make sure so everything smells good and smells fresh. And I just kind of tuck it behind the garbage bin. So you know if there's anything in the garbage bin or anything around this area, the scent bags kind of drown it out. So I have the scent bag will smell good. Then I have the can go smell good. Then I have the concentrated room spray will smell good. You understand? So in here, after smell good. My bathroom leads out into my room so I can't afford to smell anything less than good. Over here now is probably my sec well, second favorite outside of the shower. Just because I love the mirror like I was telling you guys. Um, this is just a simple setup with my soap and another one of the face scrubs I was telling you guys about. And then now uh, we have my clear aligners and we got our little toothpicks and we call it something where you use and clean out your teeth. So you know what I talk and my hairpin. So I just do a little setup. So I'm not a dig when I look for anything. Guys, I know the problem I said why I kind of organize everything so weird. I just feel like it works better for me. You understand what I say for my mental health? When the things are organized, my, my thoughts feel clearer. Especially like if I'm getting ready, it's very easy for me to find what I'm looking for. Like I'm not dig up. And also, it just look good. Like a nice looking bathroom. You understand what I mean? Like it just cute. Like look like you just kind of open your thing and set them out. Put your ear pin them. Like yeah, it's like it's a hot girl. Like as a hot girl. You understand? So moving right along now to our little skincare setup. So... These were actually supposed to be used in the kitchen, but of course, my always are telling us when I have to use the things, they have turning on and make fashion multi purpose, buy things we can use. Yes, so this are everywhere, right? So, I have my ears cleaner stuff, I don't remember what I'm right now, but you know, I buy the big pack and I <laughs> so I have my q tips in this jar here and then i have my little face class right so i buy the big packs that they sell at price mart you know people they have foreign and i can buy the things in my walmart and whatever girl them out here if you want go price mart for buy the big one or miss chin you know you can buy it full up your something and it just look good this is listerine i know you guys probably are wondering i'm trying to remember the actual name of the container that it's in um but i don't know i was on pinterest one night and i just saw this like the glass container, I'm gonna say, why am I listerine in one glass container instead of obviously in one buckle? And it, that is all with us in a bright here. So, this is actually, you know, like when you have scotch, so it's actually a liquor container. So, you're supposed to put like scotch in it, but it's my listerine in it. You know me, fancy. So, I have my soap, I'm gonna wash my hand like 10 times for the day. So, again, normal soap, nothing fancy, nothing special about the soap. Normal, normal soap. So, it's a normal, normal bathroom. Again, where is this from? Active. Another fixture that I purchased from them. So you know when you wash up, brush your teeth, use a listerine. Because let us talk about it. As a girl again. As a boy, you have to brush your teeth, right? You're going to do your little 
rinsing with your Listerine and you go do your little flossing, and then you go dry off your face. You get me there, you go take care of your skin because we're always big people. We grow into be big people and we take care of ourselves. We ensure, say, take care of our dental hygiene, take care of our skin, take care of our bodies. You understand? Because we just can look good only out of road. In our house, too, we have to ensure, say, we do what we need to do before we reach outside. We cannot put on our clothes, dear clothes, and we don't really have to take care of ourselves. You understand what I'm So, we do clean with ears, clean with face, clean with mouth, wash with hand, dry off for skin. Here now, we we'll have another air freshener. You know, some men say in here smell good, I don't know. But now, for telling you, no, again, curse trends. And I chose the one with the light just in case I wake up in the night. I use the light that's on this instead of turning on this side. The light, as much as me and JPS are friends, I'm telling you, I already said I'm going to pay for whatever it is that I want. I still try to conserve as much as I can. So I use the light that's on this. My toilet lights, I don't know if you guys remember them from the previous video, they stopped working. I feel like I stopped working for after three months, so I haven't repurchased them as yet. So I just go and use this in the meantime, but I'm definitely going to get them back because those toilet lights had colors and they really did just do something for me. I'm going to link them below in case you want to see what they look like, and I'll probably also insert a clip. So, this now outside of the shower is probably my favorite, 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 favorite part because I organized under my cupboards. So, voila, here we go. So, I spent one Sunday and just got everything under the cupboard sorted out. So again, I linked the containers for you guys. So I have one for my hair care, one for my body care, and body care, of course, my powder. I have excess lotions, alcohols, um, castor oil. I have like a set of, another set of scrub gloves, just the excess things, you know? And I have them sorted out because as my set of so we are big people. Remember, so when we sort out the things, them will brain function better. And also, if I'm rushing, you know, I can just, all right, body care, me need a lotion. Pull out this, get it. And these are the ones that have not yet been opened. So for the things that I use on a regular day, I have them here. And this is a lazy Susan. So again, I'll link this for you guys below. So I use this to like remove my makeup. You know, when you don't shower, you want to spray on your little body splash. I have my lotion that I use on a regular day. Um, deodorant too. I have my little air gel, my moisturizer, my astringent nail clip. Um, I will use it. So I will take off the lint off of the clothes. Nail polish remover. Um, this is a body oil, hydrogen peroxide. So these are what, like, as me, I don't be that. So say, you know, me, I up. I just open the cupboard, grab up this. If I need something extra that's not on here that I wouldn't be using on a normal day, I'm going to draw for the dryer. So, you know, the hair care drawer, of course, you know, we have whole heap of extra stuff. This one is not even properly sorted out because me kind of rush to it. So I have, like, my got-to-be glue sprays, my um, flat iron, curling iron, my combs, whole heap of extra stuff. Then these are little creams and gels. So these again, I have them in really, really close reach. So this is like my acne medication. Then you know you have scar treatment gel. We have little tetracycline. We have only really little things right here, right? Then we have an even smaller container now. And don't really watch what's written on it. I know what's in it. I wrote it because that's how I wanted to organize it. But it turned out afterwards that I put other things in it. So bottom one, I have sanitaries. Sanitaries are actually in sanitaries. So when is that time when I fit again a rush and I dig and it's easier for me when I'm like going to the supermarket to figure out what it is that I don't have and what it is that I need. And just overall it look cute because it look cute, right? So soaps, of course. I have a mix in here, so I have my band-aids, some extra hair clips. I have some dove soap down here, so and of course cannot, cannot, cannot leave out. My favorite, who knows what this is, carbolic soap, yeah. You just be an extra good with it. To me, I know no people don't like it because they say it smells too strong, but if you ever know to me be with it and you smell me, you couldn't tell me. They know I have like another extra set of shower caps. So basically these drawers just hold whatever I have in excess. The top one says cottons again. Cottons is in there, but we also have like a mini traveling deodorant. We have my sinus medication, inhaler. Um, the normal tooth, I mean, I call this floss, and then like some extra creams and stuff. So, I feel like that's about it. So, it's not much to the bathroom. I feel like it's simple and to the point, it's clean and it works for me. I would love a bathroom with a tub, that's what I'm aiming for soon. But as of right now, I love this, you know, it's easy to clean as well. 
and it's just very comfortable to me. I feel like it's however you set up your space. It not have to be something expensive, it not have to be something fancy. It's what you put into it. You just put your favorite products, try to think of things that you like, things that you go places and you see. So like I said, I love the white towels because it reminds me of hotels. I love showering with the candlelight because it just helps with my mental health. The little things where you like for yourself, you understand? Not because I bought you me, I can't fix it up. If you just have toilet and shower, you have to add your little touch to it. Do you get what I'm saying? I feel like that's it for us today. Yeah, I want you to like this video, share it with your friends, comment below which part was your favorite. What else do you think I could add it to the bathroom? You know, what else do you see? What do you see that you think was missing or you feel like, you know, could kind of aid in my little self-care journey, my little soft life? You guys can comment below and let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We are almost at 200,000 subscribers. You can comment below which video you'd want to see from me next, but I will see you guys next time. Bye.